Hello everyone, Derek here. The constellation of Monoceros isn't easy to make out in our night skies. Now that's partly because the pattern of stars doesn't immediately scream giant unicorn, but it's also because with the brighter stars of the other winter constellations blazing nearby, the fainter stars of Monoceros are easy to overlook. From darker skies like here, it's still pretty tough to make out. And from our light polluted towns and cities, it's very hard to see at all. It just looks like a fairly empty patch of sky with few or no stars in it. But despite its seemingly dim appearance, there's some fascinating stuff going on in this patch of sky. The challenge for us is that most of that is going on in a wavelength of light that our eyes aren't very sensitive to. It's right on the boundary between visible red light that we can see and the near infrared light that we can't. And modern cameras are designed to take photos pretty similar to what our eyes see, so they're not much use here either. Now, if you've seen one of my recent videos, you'll know that I recently had my DSLR camera modified. It's had a filter taken out that blocks certain wavelengths of light. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out after this. In those videos, I've covered a couple of other patches of sky that host these huge but mostly hidden nebulae. But tonight's target for me is probably the most spectacular and mind-bending of all of them. This camera is currently photographing a huge cloud of interstellar gas right up there. Now this nebula is so large that even from here, 5,000 light years away, it still spans the width of three full moons in our night sky. Even travelling at the speed of light, it would take you 130 years to travel from one side of the nebula to the other. And it actually stretches into a much, much wider nebula that I'm also trying to photograph tonight with another camera over there. And yet this nebula is almost completely invisible to the naked eye. And long exposure photography with a normal DSLR camera reveals only a hint that there's something there. But I've been able to capture it with this astro-modified DSLR camera. And seeing this nebula appear on the back of the screen has been one of the most enjoyable moments in my time in astrophotography. It's breathtaking and it makes me wonder if our eyes were a little bit more sensitive to this wavelength of light and we saw our night skies like this above our heads every night. I can't help thinking we'd feel a little bit differently about the universe around us. Pay it a bit more attention. Ask ourselves, what's going on up there? Or what does it mean for us here on this planet? What should we be doing with our time? Maybe we'd contemplate our own existence, our place in the universe a little bit more deeply.